Hello, everyone. This is Jaden Thomas, and back with another podcast episode. And this episode is a film that came out in 2019, and it's called Midsummer. And this is a movie review, and the podcast name is Movie Magic. A little about this film. The plot of this film is is is, is starts in 2019. That when it came out. It revolves around a couple, Danny and Christian, who travel to, to a world Swedish village to attend a Midsummer Festival. What starts as an idyllic retreat turns into a violent, bizarre experience as they, as they become entangled with a pagan cult. The film explores themes of grief, toxic relationships, and the clash between modern entity and ancient traditions. The key characters in this film is Danny played by Florence Pugh, and Christian, played by Jack Rayner. It was other important characters in the film, but for this review, I'll mostly talk about these two characters because they was the most important people in this film. So, so I'll stay right here. So basically in this film, it's like, if you know anything about like, something like cults, it's like, it usually starts like friendly and cool, but eventually ends with crazy stuff happening. And in this film, that's that what happened. It was cool. It was a trip that like Christian went. Like at first, he was iffy about bringing Danny to Sweden because he was originally was about to go to Sweden by himself with his friends. But then last second, he bought his girlfriend. And and you could tell there was like little, like even though they was together, you could tell that like, like it was some friction in their relationship, and and a lot of different things happen. Angles to the whole film because it's one of the films like it is graphic, it is gruesome, and it's like, like it just it just one of the things is like you just gotta see it. Like you see, it, you will know what I'm talking about. But, and some of the stuff that happened is like, I, like I'm i watching, I can't believe what happened. I couldn't believe my eyes. I play, what? What? But yeah, watch it. And I heard, and I knew like this film, like a few years ago, like when it first came out, I know everybody was talking about this film. I just didn't watch it when it first came out. I don't know why, but I, I watched it the other day. I was like, man, this film is different. It's different. But, no, I'll keep going, keep going along. The ending, the ending of this film, the ending of this film of Miss Summer involves Danny burying her past while Christian and his friends go up in flames. The film is filled with ritualistic sacrifices and bears and cages, but it sticks with you because of these central universal themes anyone can learn from. The ending is com- commentary on breakups, challenge the traditional fairy tale, fairy tale ending of a couple coming together Said instead a plain white dress, then he separated with heavy dress full of flowers. So this film differs than you know most fairy tale endings. It's like it ends like with Danny living and she had all the flowers on her, and her boyfriend dies in a fire in a ritual in a very gruesome, gruesome, gruesome death. My rating for this film, this film is a C. And what makes this film different than most horror films is it took place during the daytime instead of nighttime. And you know, you watch most horror films, it takes place during the night. But this film took place during the day. So that's different. And also, like as I said before, it's a hard watch because it's very gruesome, a lot of blood and a lot of death scenes. It was... I, like in the film, you always had a sense that like something bad gonna happen, but when it happens, like he's over the top is a lot. And if you like blood and gore, you'll like it. But if you don't like blood and gore, you wouldn't like it. So I, that's like, I like it, but at the same time, I could do without some of them scenes. Like some of them scenes was too much. I, I can't lie. Now other films, that's not the same, but you should also check out in the A24 films, 
series include the 2018 film Hereditary.